What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our channel. I am Daddy Karan. And I'm Mommy Shelly. <laughs> I'm the Sire. I'm, I'm Jaden. I'm Casey. <laughs> and we are the Archer Family. Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling. All right. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Archer Family channel. Yes, yes. And this <laughs> session is called Sit Down with Mommy Shelly or Sit Down with Shelly. And guess what? Today we have a special guest. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. No, no, let me get it right. Daddy K is in the building. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> So I have another Tabata Brown cup. I like, I like her. I'm a big fan. Show us your cup, honey. What you got? Oh, come on. What you got in your cup? I'm gonna drink something in my cup. No, you're not, no cheers? I got it. I got a little Pepsi in my cup. What you got in yours? Oranges. Oranges. All right. <laughs> so, well, week two completed and we finished Exodus. Woo -hoo! Yes, yes, yes. So, I have Daddy K with me. He's gonna help me to review Exodus. You know, on Saturdays, we try to do the review. Yeah. And what we learn, whatever whatever the chapter is that we did. So, week two, Exodus completed. Thank you, Lord. I hope at least one person is doing this with me. God bless you. Keep it going. Don't give up. Remember, whenever you're reading the word, you got to pray first. Yes. Pick a time. Be consistent. Amen. Yes. So now we're going to just go to Exodus. We promise not to be before you too long. Right, Daddy K? That's right. Daddy, Daddy K will cut it short. Yeah, really yeah short. it might actually be really short. But um, so before we go any further, you want to pray? Yes, yes, sure, sure. All right. Lord, we thank you for this time. Thank you for this session. God, we pray now that your will be done, that you would lead us, God, even as we sit here and and uh, get into your word and talk about what we have learned, oh God, in this book of Exodus. Yeah. We pray, God, that you will be glorified. Speak through us, God, so we can encourage ourselves and others. And we give you thanks for it and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. So we're determined we can do this. Yes. yes. You can do this. Yes. We can do this. Yes. And I so thank, I thank God for my husband because, listen, we're on one accord when it comes on to things of the Lord and he decided to join in and to God be the glory. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Like the topic we're going through at our church throughout this season is iron sharpens iron. <laughs> right, right. What's, What's up, Casey? Wrong, Casey? <laughs> all right. So we had Watch little Miss Casey. Um, as usual, yes. but that's all right. It's a family channel. It's a Listen, family. Yep. it's real around this side of town. Amen. Amen. All right. So, thank you, Josiah, for helping out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, where was I? I think I lost my thoughts. No, we were here just talking about um, what go down in the Book of Exodus. All right. So yes. Yeah, so we're just here to summarize Exodus. Okay. And like I said, I have my husband here with me today to help me to go through it. So first we started with Genesis. Exodus is the second book of the Bible, right? So in Genesis, we have the people from Israel, the Israelites in Egypt, and they were enslaved, right? So now it kind of carry over to Exodus where God called Moses to lead the people out of slavery right from out of egypt so yes. that's where we at yeah. right so uh when the israelites were enslaved in egypt god heard their cries and rescued them we can be confident that god still hears the cries of his people yes, yes. just as he delivered them the the israelites from their captors he can deliver us even today yes, amen can. god is still able he's still on the throne and he's still working for us he can still deliver us from whatever the circumstances we have going on in our lives amen amen, amen. so god chose moses and but before all that there was so many things happened to pharaoh who held the egyptian captive right babe yes they, like there was so many plagues that happened mm -hmm. and yeah. God hardens Pharaoh's heart right, right. and he was like 
you know, it was, you wouldn't want to be fair, right? <laughs> put it that right. way. <laughs> There's so many plagues came upon him. Right. You know, and things that were happen to, happening to the Egyptians, it wasn't happening to the Israelites. So God really showed who he is, you know, who he is. He's powerful, he's mighty, and there's no other but him. Yes, amen. 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 So then after that, you know, God sent Moses to Pharaoh, the plague and the Passover. Oh, you want to talk about the Passover? The Passover when um, God told Moses that, listen, you got to put blood stain on every house. Right. Yeah, that was very powerful. Yeah. Listen, uh, <clears throat> that was a, a very powerful demonstration because whoever the blood stain was up on their house, yep. you know, the, 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 the death angel would pass over that house and, yep. and, and their firstborn wouldn't be killed. Right. But there was a specific instruction that they have to follow as, yeah. as God, you know, give them specific instruction how to kill this lamb and how to sprinkle the blood and upon the doorposts and, and the forehead. And, and the, the people did as the Lord said, and, and they were safe, safe and sound the next day. But every other one yep. that 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 um you know did not do what the Lord said. The firstborn was dead and, and, and all that stuff. So it's very important that we listen to the Lord and obey yes. him. Amen. Amen. Yep. And then now, uh, while Moses were leading the people out of Egypt, mm -hmm. they got to go through the Red Sea, right? right? And God caused the water to be like walls for them to go through. That's amazing. Uh, can you can, just think about that for a second? Almighty God is. Amazing. Like, I mean, it's the sea that he turned into dry land right. and lead the people through. Yeah, because um, even leading up to that, when Moses was leading them out and the sea was in front of them. There yeah. was nowhere for them to go. Yeah. Right. Nowhere. It's just, nowhere. That's the sea. And God worked a miracle right there yep. for his people. Uh -huh. And to show that he's still in control. Yep. No matter what it looked like, God is still in control. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. So now um, they crossed the Red Sea. and um, But after the people finally crossed the Red Sea, what were they doing, honey? Oh. <laughs> After, wait a minute. Exodus, wait I minute. tell you. Listen. After all the miracle God has done for them, after all the plagues that God has, you know, allowed them to see that happened to Pharaoh. Yeah. And when they cross through the Red Sea, even that big miracle right there. Right. They cross over, and after a time, they were murmuring and complaining. Can you imagine? They were murmuring. <laughs> they were complaining. Right. They, have, they, they actually rather, they wanted to go back. In slavery. In slavery. Right. And to be free, and um, think on that for a second. That's that's mind boggling, but to see how God can, you know, do a mighty work in you, just bring you out of a situation. But because if they're so used to, you know, yes. being in a bondage, but yes, who the sun set free is free indeed. And you indeed. know what? As people, we are afraid of the new, right? Like we we get comfortable in what we know right like you know we're afraid to take that step and mm -hmm. go into the unknown that's true amen that's so, so true that's so yeah true. that that was like so really true. crazy to see they were complaining and murmuring and all that and also let, let's add this to it to be honest we are kind of guilty of the same thing because yeah. god has done so much for us mm -hmm. so much miracles god has done so much great things for us and we gotta be careful because if we really you know, take a grip of our life and look back. Make sure we're not murmuring and complaining because God has been good to us. Amen. God is so He's good. He's been good. So make sure we're not complaining and, and murmuring and being unthankful for all the things God has done for us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Be mindful of that. Be mindful. Yep. So then now uh, as we continue on in Exodus, we see where um, there was a lot of laws mm -hmm. and all that. So God, um, the given laws, like all the people should live right so i think that's where we learn about the ten commandments yes. which is so important. so important we have to live by that right. so you have the ten commandments yes. even even before i go into this ten commandment um as moses was you know receiving the ten commandment from the lord and and and, and the people you know get impatient and 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 um start even murmuring and complaining again and and now aaron now you know Take it up into himself to be there. And, and who is Aaron again? <laughs> Moses' brother. Moses' brother, yes. right? Yep. And and even as my wife was saying earlier on, that is why God called Moses because 
Aaron now, you know, start to allow these people to bring him all their jewelry and they, you know, they cast it in the fire and they, you know, pretty much are making a golden image before God. Yeah, but well, sorry to cut you, honey. I just remember this. Mm -hmm. There's one part where why Aaron is even in this is because Moses thought Aaron that he couldn't imported. speak. Right, right. Listen, the devil would let you think that, oh, I can't, I can't do this. I can't speak. Who I can't speak into this morning, honey. Speak into somebody. I, <laughs> right. The devil can trick you and say like, oh, I'm shy. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm afraid to speak in front of people or right. I'm this or I'm that. But if God really called you to speak, yes. you pray and you ask him to give you that boldness. God called Moses, yes. but because Moses is saying, oh, I can't speak and he's right. worrying about how we look right. and how he stammered or whatever right. he didn't have that confidence in himself mm -hmm. so now god had to call his brother with him but even though god called his brother with him moses was the one that god wanted to use amen right so as my husband was saying you can see how Aaron even messed up ask mm -hmm. the people then for their gold and they start creating like a false image right. you see mm -hmm. he wasn't called right. moses was the one that's been called so regardless of how you think that oh i can't do this i can't speak like oh they speak and right. i don't look like how they do listen don't worry about what other people are doing focus on what the lord called you to do right. amen you have your own voice you have your own destiny your own journey it's not about copying off of somebody else's or right. you don't think that you're smart enough right and god in his mercy even when all of this was going on god in his mercy when moses was up there receiving the commandment of god god sent moses to get back you know get down there to get these people yeah now. yeah god could have wiped them out for example yes he's so but, merciful but god is rich in mercy and he loves us and he's patient yeah he gave them another chance to, yes he for did. moses to come down and try to get these people straight now yeah so we're going to get into the commandments. So these are the commandments. Um, there's 10 commandments. Let's go over them. Um, and it's found in Exodus 20, I believe. Yes, Exodus chapter 20. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. Amen. Remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Yes. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord might, thy God given thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou right. shalt not commit adultery. Right. Um, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou yeah. shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. That, um, amen, amen. You I, must not steal, you must not testify falsely. Yes, I think I missed a couple guys. Yeah, but yeah. these are the, let's go over it again real quick. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not have no other God beside me. Yes. Thou shalt not take thy, the name of the Lord in vain. Uh -huh. Thou shalt um, keep the Sabbath day holy. Yes. Honor thy father and thy mother. That's right. Thou shalt, ki um, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not um, commit adultery. adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Yeah. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Amen. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Amen. Amen. It's in um, Exodus chapter 20. Yes. You can read it for yourself, but yes. you see the commandment of the Lord that yes. he has set up for us. Amen. And and I know we ought to abide by his commandment. Yes. So to sum it all up, in Exodus, God brought the people out of slavery. Yes. He loved them so much. They made so many mistakes, mm -hmm. but God did a blueprint. Yes. God said, listen. This is where you were and I'm taking you out of it and I want you to go for it, but you have to trust me. Right. You got to serve me. You can't serve no other God but me right. because I am the Lord your God. You will hear it thee, mm -hmm. right? So God want them to only trust him and only to serve him. He gave them a blueprint of how to build the tabernacle. Right. Like it's amazing. Yeah. Like how to fold the, the, the sockets. Like there's so many things. Yeah. There's so many laws and how they should go about it. And right. thank God he used Moses. And mm -hmm. Moses really stood up in the end. 
Yes, he did. Like, I don't see where he's, they're talking about him being nervous no more. He said, thus no. said the Lord. After walking with the Lord. After walking he, with the he Lord. He built up his confidence. And, yes. and, and God started using him mightily. God used Amen. him mightily. Amen. Mightily. Amen. Mightily. And God is good. He's worthy. And he, like I said, he's still doing it in this day. He's not through with us yet. Yes. Amen. God bless you. I pray you're traveling this journey with us, reading the Bible for the year. Like I mean, Genesis, Exodus. Next week we're going to Leviticus. Leviticus. All right. Amen. Amen. And like I said, once they are long, we just do one per week. And when we go to the shorter verse, cha shorter chapters, we'll do like two or three. But right now, we're taking it slow. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Amen. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, subscribe to the Archer Family Channel. For watching. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. God bless you.